Hey guys, what's up? It's me Shade and welcome back to my channel. You guys have been asking for a curly hair routine for the longest so I am here to deliver. So I'm going to show you how I go from this undefined curls to basically defined curls. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have a picture of, I mean a video of my actual defined curls. It's because I accidentally deleted it. But this is what my hair looks like when it's soaking wet and when I get out of the shower. I usually flip my hair back and then I take my leave out and I comb it into my wig and then I take a big tooth comb and I just detangle my hair a little bit more and then I take some styling mousse this is from motions I believe and then I take some shea moisture um, oil spray I guess you could say and then my diva curl towel I actually just bought this to do a curly hair routine because I wanted it to be faster and just more convenient so as you guys can see I flip my head over and I continue to detangle I take some mousse I take like three or four pumps and then as you guys are gonna see I start with the ends of my hair and I put the mousse there first because I want the ends to have the most definition oftentimes because those are the parts that usually tend to get looser and kind of like lose their definition over time and then I flip my hair back over and I decided to part it and then again I'm gonna take some mousse and I'm just gonna kind of lightly you know put it on the parts of my hair that um, I've parted out when I'm done I take my diva curl towel and I wrap it around my whole wig and I kind of just blot out the extra moisture and wetness from the wig that sounds so weird but you know what I'm trying to say and then you know I bring it down and I continue to do that and then I take it off one more time and I just kind of like spread the towel over my hands and I just go back in and I blot it out and then I take my blow dryer you guys can put it on any setting you want but mine was on a heat setting not a cool setting and I just diffuse my hair and this is 12 minutes later after diffusing this routine is really made for someone who needs to be out the door in an hour's time. So if you spend 30 minutes on your hair, you're pretty much going to be out the door if you spend the other 30, like, you know, doing your makeup and getting dressed and ready. And yeah, so this is what my hair looked like 20 minutes later. Um, it's not completely dry, but it's probably 80% dry. And I was pretty satisfied with that because I didn't want to spend too much more time doing that. So when I finished my makeup and finished getting dressed even though I wasn't completely dressed, I decided to pick and tease out my hair. I get a lot of questions on how my hair is so big and this is exactly why because I pick and tease it with a big tooth comb. And then when I was done with that, I just went in with um, a spoolie and some edge control and I decided to do my edges. I didn't do a full tutorial on how I did my edges because there are so many tutorials on how to do them. And my hair is I think almost two months post a relaxer as far as like my leave out and stuff like that so it's not like I could really finesse finesse my edges because you know I'm 4C 4B but I was satisfied I mean as long as it was blending I was fine and so when I was done even though I did not have to do this because this edge control is so strong um, I just set my edges with a satin scarf and I think I left that scarf on for about 10 minutes I really didn't have to do it, but I just decided to anyways And then when I came home later that night I took some pictures because I don't have any other footage of how my hair came out But I look super cute and super bomb and yeah, you know looking like a cute little hoe or whatever and Yeah, anyways, so this next clip is me just showing you how my hair looks when it's been like maybe like a week's time and how I put it up. So I just divide my hair into two and then I just twist it up. I don't do the pineapple because I find with a little bit of a looser curl pattern, the curls tend to like lose their definition. So instead I do this, I twist it up, I take a elastic and I just kind of like, you know, use it to keep my hair up. And then I take another scrunchie and I put it on top just to secure it. I take my satin scarf again and I don't know how to explain this method of how I'm putting it on, but I put it on upside down, I guess you could say, and then, yeah, I tie it, and then I get ready for bed. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.